Ironically, Edith Harrison's selection as U.S. Senate nominee was one of the few things Democrats could agree on. In a convention where much of the attention is already centered on 1985, Democrats found very little to smile about. Well, the Democratic Party always holds uh, conventions that could be described as controlled anarchy, and this one is more anarchical than most. It's really reminiscent in some ways of 1972, the push toward issues resolution, the movement toward nominating a much more liberal uh, candidate for the United States Senate. It's a throwback to the 1970s. Most of you don't have hotel reservations for Saturday night. Of course you won't need it because you'll be here. But delegates didn't listen to the call. A lot of behind-the-scenes maneuvering was taking place as Jesse Jackson delegates tried to force the convention to approve resolutions and make party reforms. And that had some Democrats upset, others elated. Since 1977, there have been those in our party wanted us to be like Sphinx in the desert, mute and motionless. That's not the way to deliver the services, because Republicans have a good program. And if we don't have a better program, we're going to lose. This convention has done more than select a U.S. Senate hopeful and pick presidential delegates. It is demonstrating the emerging political power of black voters in Virginia. In Norfolk, Elliot Weiser, WTVR News 6.